What's up everyone? Hope you're enjoying your Sunday. It's Chef Roberto and I'm super excited because I'm fun employed. And what that means is I get to cook a lot of meals for myself and eat alone a lot of the time. But hey, every day Sunday for me. So uh, why not why not show you what I've been making for myself? Uh, making some hot dogs. I'm going to be doing a classic backyard barbecue style. I'm going to do my take on a Chicago style hot dog. And I'm going to be getting a little bit creative and doing a banh mi style hot dog. So I'm um, very excited about this. They're all super delicious. It's very simple and uh, um, can't wait to share it with you. Starting off with the pickling liquid for the banh mi hot dog. Now it's uh, going to be about a half cup rice wine vinegar, a quarter cup water and sugar and a sprinkle of hot pepper. We're going to bring that up to a boil, let the sugar dissolve and take it off the heat. Now while that's cooling, we're gonna thinly slice some cucumbers. We're gonna take those mixed with some shredded carrots. And once the pickling liquid is cooled down, uh, we're gonna throw those in there, shake it up, and let that quickly pickle for about 30 minutes to an hour or so. To round out our toppings for the banh mi, we're going to thinly slice some jalapenos and at the end we're going to sprinkle some fresh cilantro leaves. My favorite part of a banh mi sandwich is the mayo. Now, it's super simple, super delicious. It's about three parts mayo to one part soy sauce and a sprinkle of Chinese five spice. Uh, that might be a little obscure, but it's super easy to find in a grocery store. Now we gotta make some pickled peppers for the Chicago dog. I'm gonna use a different pickling liquid. This one's about a, a half cup of apple cider vinegar, quarter cup of sugar, and sprinkle some black peppercorns, a pinch of salt. Again, we're gonna bring that to a boil, let the sugar dissolve, and take it off the heat. Your classic Chicago style dog will have pickled sport peppers. Now I don't have those, but I obviously have jalapenos. And what's great about that is the sweetness of the apple cider vinegar is gonna pair really nicely with the spiciness of the jalapeno. Um, and again, we're gonna let those sit in the liquid for about 30 minutes to an hour. <laughs> Of course, we're chopping an onion to mask the tears from eating alone. <music> Chicago style dogs also usually have tomato wedges. Also don't have those, but I have these great cherry tomatoes. I'm just gonna slice those super thin. All right, toppings are prepped. So now I have to class up my buns a little bit. Uh, typically a banh mi sandwich is served on a baguette. It might be a little tough and chewy for a hot dog. So I got these French bread rolls um, and the Chicago style dogs usually served on a poppy seed bun, but I got what I got. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brush a little bit of butter on top of them, uh, sprinkle some poppy seeds for the Chicago one and I'll sprinkle some black and white sesame seeds on the banh mi dog, why not? Chicago style dogs are typically boiled so that they keep their snappy skin texture. But I like grilled dogs, so I'm gonna do that for the banh mi and for the backyard barbecue dog. I'm gonna score the size of the skin so that uh, when it's over the heat, the meat doesn't burst out of it. Now watch closely how I dress this banh mi impersonator. I'm gonna start with the mayo, then I'm gonna do the quick pickles, the quickles, and then I'm gonna do sliced jalapenos and top with some fresh cilantro. <laughs> For 
For my take on the Chicago style dog, we're gonna be using spicy brown mustard, uh, sweet pickled relish, chopped onions, dill pickled chips because I don't have any spears, my sliced tomatoes, and my pickled jalapenos. <laughs> Normally you would top that with some celery salt. I only have celery seeds, so I'm gonna use that with a sprinkle of kosher salt at the end. For the backyard barbecue dog, you already know what it is. All right, the banh mi dog was by far my favorite dog. It almost tasted like a real banh mi sandwich. Uh, the Chicago style dog was great. The, the dog itself was snappy and delicious. It was full of flavor. Um, and the backyard barbecue dog, well, you already know what it is. So keep on tuning in. I look forward to seeing you next week.